So where was I? Wherever I was, I was doing it from the shade, wasn't I? <laughs> so it, yeah, uh, that's Jolly, Jolly Mama. That's what you saw Karen just coming shit on all over. Al is going to bend over backwards to protect her. Just for me saying that name or using that name, but you know what? Fuck them. We only got a few more decades to speak, to call a thing a thing. So, yeah. The Karen Moth. I said it. But back to this. Yeah, so that's uh, Madea Jolly. Has all the holes showing that Karen got to it. Um, I did harvest the outer leaves of these because they were growing voluptuously. Matter of fact, I, I probably need to sink five more of those. I'm going to water these one good time because they were getting over water because of the rain, so they were just sitting in water. Because I did put these in a platter that uh, without drainage holes at the bottom. They have, the cups have drainage holes, but I didn't put dr drainage holes up at the bottom of this because they kept drying out and dying and I got sick of them not surviving. None of them survived except this one, so I got sick of it and put them in a platter that doesn't have drainage holes even though the individual cups do. So, here's Zena. Oh, look. <laughs> she thinks she's slick. She thinks she's slick. Oh, stank hole. The string beans I just harvested here. And there's some onions behind them. This is Jolly. It's my primary plant of her. I'm let, trying to let this uh, leaf get as big as it's gonna get because I wanna see one get two feet long. And I just, I don't necessarily have the confidence that I'm gonna see it on this one. But who knows? Either way, I wanna see it. Uh, this, the purple collar is doing really well. I see why people like it, but I want leaves the size that this gets because that's the kind of food I want provided for me and my family. Uh, I do like the resilience of this against pets though, but it's also firmer and takes longer to cook. But you know, between me and you in general, I do grow more of these because these are more profitable for me. <laughs> These are more profitable for me. But for our own use in the family, I kind of hold Jolly close to home. So unless somebody gets a cutting from one of my family members, then they might be shit out of luck. I probably need to pot up Jimmy and take Vars inside to try to grow her in there. Uh, this other stuff started popping up when it was getting over water. I'm thinking I probably should have left it in that water, maybe. <gasps> Same here. I should have left it in the water. This popped up. I guess I should have left it. Oh my goodness. I will put the, I will put the platter back up and and smother you all again, drown you all. Candy has plenty of buds on her. Not all the flowers are fruiting, but if they do, child, let me tell you. Let me tell you about a plant that's gonna be loaded. I should probably feed her. I hope y'all heard all that. All that gawking I was doing over this thing, she pretty. And she has so many. I see, I see 10, I see 10 flowers on one end branch right here. Matter of fact, as I put y'all closer, I see that I lied. Let me count. 18, 19, 19 flowers from this one, from this branch here to the end, just this little area. 19, 19 freaking flowers. I don't know. In my mind, that thing is just going to always have fruit on it. And I'm going to always have the option to come and pick whatever I want, whenever I want, however much I want. 
I don't know if it's determinate or indeterminate. I don't know how the peppers grow, if they just continue to grow for as long as they have the proper conditions, but child, I'm hoarding them things. And I'm gonna figure out how to get this seed thing right, germination thing right, because I be so, ooh, two hawks. I don't usually see them. Oh shit, you coming for me? Oh shit, why they make a, why they spin the curve, why they spin the corner like that? Why they spin the block like that? Why y'all spinning the block? Uh-uh, why y'all spinning the block? Mm-mm, why are y'all spinning the block? In all fairness, they just finished a really big gassing on the whole Midwest last week. And it seems like it's just now clearing out. <laughs> clearing out just in time for everybody to repollute everything with 4th of July fireworks tomorrow. But anyway, 4th of July is on a Tuesday this year, by the way. Y'all know how Mr. makes it. Uh-uh, uh-uh, no you don't. Nope. It's too hot for me to even show y'all the brick bed. Sorry. <laughs> y'all know I'm not, I'm usually not sorry, but I'm sorry. It's, just, it's hot. I'm hot. It might not be. Somebody can handle it, not me. This is, okay. Matter of fact, let me get some water before I even show y'all this well bed. The well bed is shaded right now, so I can show y'all that. It actually gets lots of shade. <sighs> which I have to assume is one of the reasons why the tomatoes and tropical plants actually do so well over there. Mm -hmm. It's because contrary to colonized gardening, tomatoes, you know what? Matter of fact, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. There aren't many, very many plants that benefit from full sun all sun all day long it just it does that's a lie that's a that's a that's a very very popular commonly believed myth and in fact as i think about tomatoes and i think about moringa callaloo i think about tropical plants and not just beans and peas or or brassicas that we all know love but uh squash zucchini uh, eggplant, cucumber, watermelon. So all these things that we, strawberries. I am of the ancestral belief that direct sun all day, every day, even with periodic rain is not good for most plants. I'm sure there's some plant out there, several. Not a lot though that uh, could stand the sun all day, every day. And that should be even more evident with how colonizers have bastardized how our bodies receive the nutrients from the sun. Anyway, as I'm saying this, my back and my arms sting from said sun. And I find that terrifying. I'm gonna have to buy some of those garden sleeves. I'm, I'm just really tripping. Like I might be poisoned in the arms and back from the sun. You know, to, even to a minor extent. And I'm sitting here thinking if I have healing utensils, I need to use them. So I'm about to break out the leaf of life. And I'm gonna rub a little of the juice on my hands before I, on my arms before I go back out. There we go. Got me a big old Got me a big old leaf. You know, I think I'm gonna juice me a great big old batch because you can tell by how big this leaf is, how big the tree is, the trees are at this stage of the game. <laughs> how big the trees are. Um, I put them up for sale, but nobody wanted to buy them. So, and so be it. I ain't forcing uh, sustainability on nobody. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to smash it. I was just thinking 
you know, with all those leaves I have, I should just juice them all and cube them. See, max minimalism, I be doing that thing. Freeze and cube them and then put it to the side for medicine. So, this bottom part broke off. I'm actually just squeezing this juice right now. And I'm gonna rub that on my arms. You know, y'all, y'all, I'm feeling immediate relief. I am, and look, the, the, the hives, it was about to raise. I just showed y'all my arms, right? And now the hive part that, oh, that little spot is still raised there. I put this, I put the little green piece. It's to the right of that little green piece. So that's still raised. That actually looks like an entry spot. Maybe they were able to get. Anyway, finna ball. Get the stem on the other, other half because I used up the bottom of that leaf. And rub that juice on my arm. Hold on, I'm gonna go smash it because I want to get all the juice out. Because y'all don't know. Y'all do not understand the relief that this just gave my my arm like immediately. I like to use my pestle without the mortar because the mortar is uh, has a, a, a grindy texture. And I feel like once I smush it, I can't get it out of there because it's all it, with, intertwined within the... So I'm just mushing this into a bottle cap because I use bottle caps for everything. So there it is. I used the pestle and just smushed it up. And now I'm going to apply it to my other arm. Girl, this immediately. Oh my God. I'm going to tell Mr. next time he gets a summer rash, bro. I'm about to go juice so many of these damn leaves, I'm telling you. And I'm keeping the pulp to put in our food. Yeah, that's right. Keeping the pulp to put in our food. And I'm going to continue to use fresh leaves in our food, too. Well, how you like them apples? Should I put coconut oil on top of it or just let it do what it's doing? Bro. Goddess gives us what we need, man. You can tell the part of my arm that I didn't get it on enough. The arm, it's so healed that you can tell the part up by my elbow, because it still got some little bumpy bumps. But look how everything else cleared up, like nothing happened. But right here, I didn't wipe it all the way up to my elbow, nearby my elbow, and look. Still got those little bumpy bumps from what I'm going to call uh, clandemic poisoning. Girl, girl, you better get you a, a ancestral black woman in your life. <laughs> Child, you better get you an ancestral black woman in your life. Guide you on how to heal yourself. I mean, you don't even have to leave her up to do it. She don't mind. That's what that's what the knowledge was for, for us to pull the past for us to pass it to y'all. But only y'all who have the capacity to receive the, receive the blessing. Because really, everybody ain't able. Especially right now. Especially. So many minds are no longer belong to them. They, you know, so many people sold their, sold their shit to them people. <laughs> you know? Is what it is. It's Buffy. Uh, I meant to come bring. I meant to bring Spidey so I could come tap. So he could tap her right quick. Can I do it without him? Hope so. Hope I did it without him. I'll get that in just a few minutes. I don't think this side needs a lot of water. Cause it's because it stays so shaded. But I also don't want to be fooled and think it doesn't need water and then, dr and then uh, dry it out to death. I put two more Kajaris in there since I got my, my new ones from Jera. 
Oh, here's the, uh, this is what I did with the herb bed. There's oregano, marjoram, purple sage, stevia. I got, I got premature, I think. I thought my stevia was gonna flower, so I just, I started taking cuttings. And I had no faith that they would root because I tried it when I first got them. When I first got the stevia, I tried to root cuttings and they didn't, they wouldn't go. <laughs> they wouldn't go, but they wouldn't go. So I thought it couldn't be really easily done, but these took fine. I think I just had to get young enough cuttings. Like the, 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 like the stem has to be viable. You know, if it gets, once it gets a certain, I think once your stevia plant gets a foot tall, trying to get a cutting from directly off of a topping from the main stem is not gonna be as productive as, as clipping a, a young and tender, <laughs> still green, viable side branch. So I think that's what, what my problem was. I knew better. I did KY, I did it. But yeah, so this should be nice. I expect to have some opal basil coming up the middle. Yeah, I think I'll just, when I get the water back up here, I think I'll just water. It's my little harvest. There's my little medicine. <laughs> um, and I was going to plant one outside too since I have several of them and I have the opportunity to see what they will do under in outside conditions. So I was thinking about putting one here, but I have that, I think we're using that rock mulch, lava, lava rock mulch there. Golly, I'm so sorry. Oh, God. I almost murdered you. I'm so sorry. I accidentally had the flat setting on. I meant to put on the mist setting to water right below it. And I put on the flat setting. And I almost, I almost knocked Sunny off her block. I'm kind of sick of that branch. Get out of there. Matter of fact, get out of there all together. I just had a hanging leaf. Matter of fact, this one too. You get your ass off too. I don't know why that was getting on my nerve. They look so spindly. I got flowers popping up open though right there. Let me get rid of that. Can I do the same thing over here? No. <laughs> See, that's where you fucked up, self. Okay. I'm actually glad to have that mulberry from around here. You come back here. <laughs> See you I'm trying to attach to the fence. You have a perfectly good bamboo pole right there to climb. That's what you go up. And these are barely just starting to do anything, but they're giving me something enough to pick early enough so I can panic the plant into uh, producing more flowers and that it has been doing that because I see you can see where I picked all those early and flowers started coming in at the bottom so I think I want to cut those I think I'm going to trim those up to the bottom lollipop those hoping I don't cut any main stems but I think my uh, I think my cucumber would benefit from me cutting those bad boys off. But yeah, here we are chilling. I'm finna get y'all back drowned. Don't you worry. If you need to be drowning, I got you. <laughs>